Hey there, guys. This is my hello. So, last Thursday, I uploaded the finale to Let's Play to the Moon, and for me, reactions to it, especially since part twelve, you've it's pretty much the reaction I've kind of anticipated, and that means you really you really liked it, and that's something I'm you know I'm proud of and glad about. So this video is going to be like a final recap of the game. Of the Let's Play series, especially about the ending, a little bit, and I'm also going to talk about what、well, I guess my future plans and us playing. So let's begin with the ending. So Johnny got what he wanted. His memory has been modified so that in his memories he went to the moon as an astronaut. Now here's the thing about Sigmund Corps, the um. You know the company that hired Neil and Eva. So their technology, they're only allowed to use it on people who are critically dying. I mean, yeah, who are in critical, who are in critical condition. Basically, they only modify memories of people who are guaranteed to die very soon. Why? So that they don't have to live with the fact that their memories don't match with the re real world. So, basically, if they do have to live in the real world with their modified memories, there's going to be some cognitive dissonance, and that might drive them crazy, and probably result in some sort of breakdown. So, basically, this is only applied. This treatment is only applied to those who are going to die right afterwards, so so that their modified memory is the last thing、uh, they'll ever think of, and then they die before thinking of, you know. The changes. So, that's why this memory change was applied to Johnny when he was dying, and that's why it's he's okay with it because he's not going to live with the memories very long. It's going to be the last thing he remembers before he dies, peacefully, as I might add. So yeah, he got what he wanted. He died in peace. Unfortunately, this does not say that it was a totally happy ending, like. The, the finale was more of a bittersweet ending, you know. Johnny got what he wanted, and in his memories, you know, everything worked fine. B especially because not only did he become an astronaut, but despite the fact that Eva pretty much removed River from his memories, River still came back for him. Now here's what I like about this. I always thought River's love for Johnny was so pure. I mean, judging by her condition, it's pretty much what she had depended on, what she stuck with ever since she first met Johnny at the carnival. It may have just given her a purpose, you know. So, basically, what I'm saying is, she had a ton of dedication towards Johnny that she would never give him up. Now, I know that the river. In the finale, is not the real river because she may have just been a construct from Johnny's accessible memories. Like what? Like I said in the finale, this river might have been made from the river he remembers at the carnival. But still, the idea that even in Johnny's modified memories, when he never dated River at all, River River would still come back for him. She would actually strive to become an astronaut so that she can reunite with Johnny. That gives you an idea of how strong their love is, how strong her love for him is. It's such a be touching thing. Now compare that with River in the real world. Her love for him was very strong as well. Basically, when she and Johnny first began dating after Johnny had his memories erased or at least blocked.、Um, okay, so here's the thing. At lunch, when Johnny's talking with Nicholas, we all thought that Johnny was a douchebag who only loved River or was interested in River because she was different. Because Johnny kind of says something along the lines of, "She has that something that I can't identify, but I want it. I want her." Nicholas and others might have interpreted that as, "She's different, so I want her because she's different because of what she has." But 
if you think about it, considering Johnny's past, considering how the beta blockers don't completely block his memories, but only make them fuzzily blocked, he may have been referring to how he's had some sort of attachment to her, although he doesn't remember their first meeting at the carnival. He feels something in his heart as a remnant of their meeting. So, unfortunately, though, Johnny doesn't re remember their meeting at the carnival. And after Johnny told River about, you know, how he remembers their first meeting being at school and not at the carnival, she was pretty much devastated. So, she dedicated the rest of her life trying to re. Yes, I said this. <clears throat> she. River spent the rest of her life trying to remind Johnny of their very, very first meeting, which, in my opinion, was probably the most loving moment in their love life. Not even their wedding. Not even any of their dates. Nothing can compare to the tender moment they had when they were looking at the moon and the stars when they were kids. That was probably the best moment in their love lives. And River was trying to do all she could for the rest of her life. And maybe she even gave up her life just so she could remind Johnny of that crucial moment. Why? Because she loves him. She And she wants him to remember the moment when their love was the strongest. Because she loved him so much. And she wants Johnny to remember that moment. To remember why he loves her so much too. And unfortunately, River dies before anything happens. Like on her, on her deathbed, with the yellow and blue rabbit, it was her final attempt to remind Johnny of their moment. And it failed, unfortunately. Instead, Johnny just played a piano piece for River, which she wasn't very pleased about, since her ultimate goal failed. And so she died. But... After death, her wish sort of came true because of Johnny's promise. Johnny's promise was, if we ever get lost from each other, we will meet back on the moon. Now the reason why he even removed River from his memories was so that they can remain lost, so that his desire to go to the moon will be intact. Now in the real world, since Johnny and River got back together, there was no desire. But after River had died, she became lost from him. And that's when Johnny's primal desires came back. His desires from his heart, not from his mind, his heart. His motive for their true love. He's trying to remember that, but of course he can't due to the beta blockers applied to him so that he could forget about his twin brother's death, or about his t twin brother in general. So, you could sort of say that River's mission worked. You know, since Johnny pursued wanting to go to the moon, even though he has no idea why. And, in a way, it's kind of very sad for River because, in the end, Johnny just lives with a fabricated memory of a different river and they live happily together in their memories but the thing is he forgot everything that river he and river had together in the real world all of their real tender moments like Johnny rem remembers tender moments in his memories that have been very idealized ever since they reunited at NASA you know they have had like you know a great love life and all but it's not real. The real love life, that's what he forgot. He forgot about the real river. And so River, dead. She, well, let's say this. She died with knowing that she failed to remind Johnny. And now she's, well, dead. And there's a fact that he just forgot about what actually happened between them. So in a way, it's not a happy ending for River at all. Not at all. But there is one resolution to this. In the credit sequence, 
you see Johnny and River on some white and black background. River is on the log, kind of like their first meeting at the carnival. River seems happy as Johnny appears out of nowhere, and he gives her the platypus, and they go look at the stars, just as, just as they have at the carnival. Now, whatever belief you may have, and whatever belief I may or may not have, I'm going to assert that that is the afterlife. You know, since Johnny had died. And in the afterlife. Okay, so some peop for some people, the afterlife may... I mean, nobody knows what the afterlife is, but... Some interpretations may be... The afterlife is... Could be an, it could be an, an eternal recreation of... Your best memory, perhaps? I don't know, like... I'm kind of reminded of the, of the book, The Five People You Meet in Heaven. Except it kind of condenses you like one person you meet in heaven, and that's River. At the moment when they met at a carnival. The best moment in their love lives. And the best thing is, in the afterlife, he remembers. Because he remembers in his heart. Not in his mind, his heart. And I'm sure that River in the afterlife, she was waiting for him on the log ever since she died. So you can't imagine the joy she must have felt up there when Johnny came back to her at last when Johnny finally met his end of the promise to meet her again at the moon after so many years of being lost now there are a few things we're going to talk about about the game before I talk about the let's play there is something mysterious about Neil at the very end with a flash of red that is something that isn't very isn't explored very much in the game, and there are no answers to it. Except, I'll say this: remember, remember, remember back in part two when there's like that RPG fight against a squirrel. If you control Neil, not Eva, but Neil, you'll notice that his HP is not full, as if he's already hurt, and he's been complaining about you know like you know, physical strain is like not his. Forte and all. So that may be something to think about. Because recently it's been announced that there's gonna be a sequel to To the Moon. I mean it's obvious because at the end it says Episode 1 To the Moon. Check. So that must mean there must be at least one or two more sequels. So that's something to look forward to. But from what I hear, the next game Freebird Games releases is not a this to the moon sequel. But it's going to be another game. I think it might be in the same universe as To The Moon, but yeah. So after they release one game, the next game, the game they're going to release after that is the sequel to To The Moon. Where there's a new client, a new case. But Eva and Neil are confirmed to return. How significant are their roles? I'm not sure. But yeah. About the Let's Play in general though. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I feel like it was one of my better series that I've produced, made for YouTube. Kind of along the lines, kind of comparable to Mother 3, Crash Bandicoot 3, Ocarina Time Master Quest, Majora's Mask, Braid. In fact, speaking of Braid, this is one of those games I'm so glad I found, because like, you know, it's an indie game. Not a lot of people know about it. Although like these days, more people know about it. Not because of me, of me, of course, but th although I'm very glad I got to introduce the game to you guys. And some of the some of the comments that I really liked were those that said, "Thanks to you, I I am now playing this game," or "Thanks to thank you very much for introducing this game to me." That's what I like about us playing the most, sharing something new, and the fact that that sharing actually has a profound effect. But yeah, although. So, as I was saying, To The Moon is getting popular these days, like it's now in Steam. Also, some big YouTubers have, I mean some big Let's Players have also Let's Play the game along, alongside with me. There's this guy named PewDiePie, I guess he has a huge following. He Let's Play To The Moon. Whether or not I recommend watching it, it's up to you. I kind of watched snippets of it and I kind of noticed that he c took a very different approach to the game. Maybe it was because it was his first time 
playing the game. Maybe it's because... Yeah, because it was his first time playing the game, so... Whereas I played the game before already, so I knew what was going to happen and I kind of knew when to knew what to anticipate and when to be silent or when to respond correctly. I'm sure that he must have just taken everything for the first time in his face, so... That may be why, that may be why he might have reacted differently. Also, English is not his native language, so it might have been a barrier to him in some way, but... It's something to consider, I guess. All I can say is, thanks to PewDiePie, the game got a bit more popular. <laughs> like, I see a lot of new Let's Plays of To The Moon, and they say, Inspired by PewDiePie, or Thanks to PewDiePie, I've, you know, found out about this game and, and, and Let's Playing it. All I can say is, I am very independent of PewDiePie. I never heard about him until I began Let's Playing my own, you know, the game for, on my own. And PewDiePie just happened to be Let's Playing the game th at the same time as me. But enough about that. But yeah, um... I'm so glad that I got to share To The Moon with you guys, and I hope that it had some sort of profound effect on you, and I'm sure it has, like, your reactions to part 14, Reminiscence. I'll admit, the saddest part for me was when Joey died, and as for the Everything's Alright sequence, where Laura Shigihara sings, yes, the same Laura Shigihara who sang Zombie on Your Lawn and Plants vs. Zombies, I like that sequence because... It's the first time I got to have a section with vocal music in my Let's Plays. And I love that it's a very tender sequence, but it's a sequence that drives people to tears, and for some reason it didn't drive me to tears that much, but it is a very bitter, bitter sequence. Because as I said, it is a process of removing River from the real River from his memories in return for fabrication. But, your reactions were quite profound. Yeah. Anyway, I kind of I kind of consider that to be like one of my better videos of the series, along with part thirteen, and maybe maybe even part twelve. You know, part, wait, yeah, so part twelve is, you know, when Joey got hit by a car. Thirteen is when you know the carnival. Fourteen is everything's all right. <laughs> kind of funny how like. I got to have like, you know, 15 videos in this Let's Play series and then I uploaded like, you know, 3 videos a week, but yeah. What was I gonna say now? Oh yeah, but I have to say, I wanna thank you guys so much for your support, for your watching, for liking. <laughs> it's kind of funny because Adma actually watched my first video, which is kind of amusing. And let's see, I mean, if you're watching this Adma for some weird reason, if you decided to watch the Let's Play, if you decided to continue, what's up? But yeah. Um, I have to say, I really appreciate your comments too. Like some of the comments I've received in some of my videos, you have no idea how much I appreciate you for sharing. Like, that's what I look for when I let's play. So thank you very much. It's my pleasure. And I want to thank you guys more than you can thank me. Now, we're gonna go to a new topic about my future for Let's Playing. What is going to be my next Let's Play? Well, if you look at my next LPs list, I have two projects listed. Project Duelists and Project Sentry. I think Project Sentry used to be Project Memories, but I tried Project Memories out and with my recording setup, it's not going to work out. I said in my Crash Bandicoot 3 Let's Play that Crash Bandicoot 3 is not going to be my last PlayStation Let's Play. I think I'm going to have to take that back. Crash Bandicoot 3 may be my last PlayStation Let's Play. Now why am I saying last? Well, I'm going to start with this bad news first, because I have a couple of bad news. The first bad news. Bad news. There's... I'm not going to upload videos for a while. Maybe for about a few months. At the latest, I'll be back in December. I may even upload in November. And I may upload some random videos in between, but there's gonna be no there's gonna be no let's plays until December. Why? So as you know, I'm in the last year of college right now, and I actually plan to apply for graduate school to pursue a master's degree. 
So, I need to dedicate my time away from YouTube. Because, as you know, real world, the real life has to come first. So, I'll be busy. Please understand. I'd love to make more videos, but I can't. Now, if you stick around until December, I'd greatly appreciate that. If you want to leave, because there's going to be no v more videos, go ahead. It's your choice, really. I mean, there's like always a source of, there's always entertainment from other Let's Players out there. I'm just one small Let's Player, always bound to be small. But yeah, I promise. Actually, I think I may be back in December because. Let me go into my second bad news. I'll be f ending. I'll be stopping Let's Playing soon. I may. Just like this. If I decide I am not into the mood of Let's Playing by December, I'm gonna stop then. If not, if I'm in the mood for Let's Playing, and chances are I probably will be, then Project Duelists and Project Sentry will be my last two Let's Plays, and Project Duelists will be more of a side LP, and Project Sentry is going to be my last main LP. Why? I cannot Let's Play forever. As much as I like this, it's a fun hobby and all, but it's not my life. I can't continue with this. Besides, in some way I kinda just wanna stop Let's Playing like... Let's Playing has changed for me ever, si ever since I started. It's changed. And I feel that I can't keep up with this forever. Like I can't dedicate my life around it, as some people may have. I knew, I always knew that I was going to have to stop someday. And actually, I once thought I was going to have to stop after Chrono Trigger ended, but look at what happened to Chrono Trigger. And I picked up Mother 3 again and I gained momentum again, but I'm coming to an end soon. I can feel it. And besides, if I, decide, if I do go to graduate school, obviously I cannot let's play there. So, basically this is my response to the fact that the real the real world is coming to me very soon, and I'm going to have to step up to it, and give some luxuries up, and this is one such, such luxury. But as I said, I may end Let's Playing in December, or I will do two more Let's Plays, a side Let's Play and a main Let's Play, and they will be my last Let's Plays. So yeah, it's some bad news, but I hope you understand. It's not an easy, easy decision, but I feel it's very necessary for me to make for my life. I hope you understand. Sorry if this disappoints you so much, but yeah. Well, to summarize, or not to summarize, but for now, this is my break. I there's gonna be no there's gonna be no let's play videos until December maybe. I mean I'll still be around watching videos, but I'll be busy for sure. So there's not gonna be any, a lot of output for me if at all. Hope you understand. I mean I, of course you should, right? Of course you do. I mean of course you do. I'm sure you understand. Yeah. So until then. Maybe until December. This has been my hello. Signing out. I'll see you back for Project Duelists. See ya.